A COVID-19 patient who was once in critical condition making a remarkable recovery. His story is something else. His breathing was so compromised, he was scheduled to undergo a double lung transplant. But a new drug helped him fully recover. And now doctors are calling him a medical miracle. All of them, they were really, really surprised by my recovery. It was a miracle. 47-year-old Dr. Jacoby Elgozi is grateful to be alive. For the first time in seven months of this pandemic, he was the one taking care of patients at Mount Sinai Medical Center on Miami Beach until he got COVID. And my lungs were white out, I mean, completely gone non-functional. One of the worst cases his doctor has ever seen. The journey that I had was really rough. And, you know, many times I had my ups and downs because, you know, you see yourself not being able to breathe and having difficulty breathing and getting fatigued. It looked like he may need a lung transplant. That's when his doctor thought of RLF 100, a game changing drug. A doctor who is leading the trial at John Hopkins University is seeing promising results. The drug, we saw 70 percent or greater survival. But in these patients who have no alternative, who have very little to look forward to, uh, we believe that the experience that was seen in Houston being seen now around the country is... And now here in Miami. In a matter of two weeks plus, I recover like this. I mean, my lungs started responding like there was no tomorrow. Everybody thinks that it was related to the uh, RLF uh, you know, 100 that, uh, that, that was given to me that protected my lungs from a permanent injury and its scarring. For his wife and his family, the recovery was an answered prayer. Best feeling ever to know that your loved one was finally back. When I was able to see them and hug them, and know that I was coming home to them, it was like, it was heaven. It was, uh, you know, very overwhelming. I couldn't stop crying. Tears of joy for another day. And beside the treatment, he's giving credit to his team of nurses and doctors. In my, at least in my book, all of them are angels and heroes. I mean, they will do anything and everything to try to save anybody. He believes more lives could be saved if everyone would follow the advice of the CDC. Now is not the time to put your guard down. Just, you know, for people, just keep your mask on. It's just a few more months, you know. The vaccinations are coming out. Uh, things are going to get better. There's no reason why people should die because not wearing a mask. Incredible, right? The doctor is planning to go back to work next month. Doctors are hoping the FDA is going to give them emergency use authorization to make this drug more widely available to patients who have no other option to get off a ventilator.